I thought you were getting training from RST Papa. He's been dabbling in some rapping. Oh, man, <laughs> me. I met birds when they were just kids starting out. <laughs> no, you know I hate those guys. When we spoke in 2019 and we did a live stream, you were saying how you think RST is a big cult. I totally They are a cult. I'll say it, come right out. They can see me if they want. I got powerful people who who love me on different levels of agencies that people will think I'm I'm crazy if I told you who they were. They think he's just bragging, but I ain't bragging. Uh, well, it's not. It's, you, they can't see you for that. I mean, that's our own opinion anyways. I know, but well supported. You know, not all cults are bad, but it's a cult. What, do you want to tell a little a little background story there about when you knew them when they were when they were young? Yeah, so I got invited multiple times to go to Project Hollywood. That was the mansion where Neil and Mystery and Tyler and Papa were all hanging out. Todd V. Todd was in the back, in the backyard, in the tent. I don't think that's what Todd is. There were people living in the backyard in the cupboards. It was... <laughs> and I got invited. I said, I didn't like frats. I never got invited to a frat. Wouldn't go near a frat when I was in college. I'm not going to do it as a man in his late 40s. Yeah. But I would come and talk and visit. I remember Owen, this is his real name, Tyler, as people know him. This guy, I thought, I think he's on the Asperger's sit. So I think he's I think he's admitted that. Yeah, I think that he's because actually admitted. He could make eye contact. He was constantly scanning your face, trying to read what your emotions are, because he couldn't feel them. And he just creeped me out. Simply because and people use that word creep in a very loosely derogatory fashion. Yeah, I'm being derogatory, but I also mean I just felt that he was hiding the fact that he couldn't read people's emotions. He was there. I remember City of Mills Diner with me, Mystery, Neil. I've been there. Tyler. Subsequently, they they all left. And then I won't mention this idiot's name. Before former student of mine restarted Project Hollywood. And then that went downhill rapidly. They all got kicked out. And then it was raised to the ground. They wrecked it completely. It was just, they built something new there. Thank goodness. But Mystery was pretty good, right? I have a lot of respect for Mystery. I have respect for Eric in some unusual ways. I think he's an original. I think of the two people who are most ripped off, it would be me and Eric. Yeah. I can think without knowing it. I'll tell you a story. Chris Odom. That's his name. Chris Odom. I, I Real quick, uh, just to interject, uh, one of the only uh, seduction books I recommend, because I think a lot of them are pretty bad, uh, the, the book Revelations that Eric and Chris Odom wrote. He, he went by Love Drop, right? I thought that was yeah. pretty good. And we have a promo right now where we're offering a funding solution. So if you live in the U.S., make at least 35 k a year and have at least a 620 credit score, you can apply with the link in the description. There's an application process and you can get on board either for a live boot camp or for the eight week mentorship program with no down payment and payments as little as $270 a month. Okay. Which anyone can afford. It's like less than 70 bucks a week. Okay. So check that out with the link in the description. I'll tell you a story about Chris. So, so I met Chris a couple of times at the house, but also I went to a couple of mystery seminars. Chris invited me to dinner, sushi in Marina Del Rey, where I used to live. And Chris said, you should really get to be friends with Eric. I said, I don't particularly like Eric. I think what he's teaching is bullshit. He said, I don't like Eric either, particularly. <laughs> but I pretend to be Eric's friend. I said, what? He said, Eric is like my monkey in a cage. Shaking my head. He said, look, Ross, there's a monkey who can do certain tricks. I want to learn how the monkey does the tricks. So I put the monkey in a cage to study the monkey. Eric is like my monkey and the cage is my friendship. And I'm thinking, this guy's a fucking psycho. This guy's a sociopath. <laughs> like a complete sociopath. I am. Chris, if you're listening, you want to sue me, bring it, buddy. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> One of the big te hypnotic techniques is our pattern interrupts, where you interrupt people's expected pattern of behavior. Yep. And more than tugging the truth. That creates a state of suggestibility and confusion. When you confuse people, they become very suggestible. So think about this. Mystery walks into a club. I'm not knocking him. I'm giving my view, my explanation of how what he does works. Or at least part of it. Goes into a club. He sees the most attractive woman there. Her expectation is he's going to talk to her. He doesn't. He talks to the other women. And right then and there, he's breaking her pattern, breaking her ex expectations, creating a little suggestibility. Then... He starts throwing tiny little insults at her that are confusing. A neg isn't quite a full insult. 
Is it an insult or is it a compliment? It's somewhere that is constantly wavering the line in between. Now he's creating confusion. Then he gets the social group to turn against her, to laugh at her and say, does she always roll with you like this? Yeah. Well, he's isolating her psychologically and mentally, which is really creating a state of compliance. So we've moved from suggestibility to compliance. Then he takes them into isolation, which is- I'm, I'm very familiar. I, I started with Mystery Method. I had my first 100 girls just with Mystery Method. Which you probably didn't recognize there were hypnotic elements to it. No. So I'm persuasive. I'm breaking. I saw persuasive elements, but not hypnotic. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, hypnotically. So then he's got her in isolation, and then he does those little demonstrations. That, and I swear to you, he said, in isolation, essentially, I'm doing speed seduction. I'm doing little hypnotic routines. I view that what he's doing, or I don't know if he's still doing anything. I think he's doing still doing events with Robert Beck, who's a good guy. I like. Yeah, he. I view a lot of what Eric has done in the past, I don't know what he's teaching now, as having hypnotic elements. I don't think he's aware of that. Maybe it's just my own bias because I'm a hypnotist and I tend to see a lot of things that are influential to the lens of hypnosis. But again, breaking patterns and confusion leads to suggestibility. Isolating her from her group psychologically leads to compliance. From compliance, he goes into isolation. And then how does the, how does hypnotism play into the rest of the process? I mean, he had the seven hour rule, which, which I disagree with, but bullshit It's bullshit. It's my record at 25 minutes. <laughs> I, I was, I don't know five minute rules on, on infield, infield camera. I mean, I'm talking about from talking to getting her to come home with me. Just to briefly touch on RSC, because they were like the force for, you know, the, the main people in the community for probably over a decade. Right. And they were like the only people. I mean, there was like simple pickup kind of exploded for a little bit and then fell off. Well, there was always me. I never left. I'm still here. And you've taught you've taught thousands and thousands of guys. I remember we were, we were talking. You, you've been you've been coaching. How many years have you been coaching now? Over thirty. And so the message of hope I want to give the guys out there is: no matter where you're at, you may think your situation is unique. There are a thousand guys who have been in that situation that I've taught. I know how to get you out of there. And most men, there's only a few, it breaks down into just a few problems that you need to get solved, the few skill sets that you need to have tweaked and fixed and, and coached on. Or... I'm not saying, yep. I'm not saying, this way, I'm not saying necessarily that connecting with really great women is always easy, but you can make it fun and enjoyable. It doesn't have to be a grind. Yep, for sure. I, I want you to give your take on uh, on approach anxiety because you have kind of an interesting perspective. And I also I want to let you... Any, I don't think there's any... You don't think there is anything uh, approach anxiety. I, I didn't want, say... Explain right here. I don't... Listen to me very carefully. I don't think that there is such a thing as anxiety, meaning it's not a thing. It's not like fluid in your body. Does that make sense? It's not yep. fluid in your body. I have a hundred gallons of approach anxiety fluid in my body. Don't mm -hmm. mark like that. That I don't believe. Someone says you're the equivalent of Lil B. I'm not sure who that is. Who's the rapper? <laughs> I know how to spit the bars. It don't matter. <laughs> Got your fancy cards. I'll show you how to get the bags fast and easy. You can use speed seduction. Don't have to be sleazy. Now, it, <laughs> if you have a huge dong or your thing is only a half an inch long, when you follow my rap and you do what I say, it'll be easy to get that leg every single hour of every single day, 365. I don't know what rhymes with that jive. <laughs> Was that freestyle or you already had it? You already had that. Oh, Matt, freestyle it. Wow. If you want to learn my exact strategy for approaching a girl, vibing, escalating and taking her back home from bars, clubs, malls, or on the streets, and want a dating coach to be there by your side, teaching you every step of the way, click the link and book an application call with me. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon